All right, so we're gonna start taking everything apart and uh, getting the new hood on, but let's uh, show you what we're working with here. So this is a Miri hood. Um, got it off of bodykits.com. Um, so it's fiberglass. Right now it's just gel coated. Um, we are gonna end up painting it when we do the fiberglass fenders and bedside, but we're gonna throw it on for right now because I'm really excited to get this on. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start pulling the old hood off, getting all the pieces on that we need to. So we have to transplant that trim piece I have up front, um, up underneath all the bumpers and everything have to get transferred over. So we're gonna get that started. So I literally just pulled it out. Um, it's not really gonna damage anything. Okay, so these are kind of difficult to get out. So I literally just pulled the plastic out of them. Um, so we'll uh, start pulling those out. And after those are out, we can start taking the hood off. So we finally got those little metal clips out. Um, we found it easiest to take a screwdriver and actually push the tongues up and then take your pliers and actually pull it out. Um, that's kind of the best plan. I'm not down. Oh, I stopped talking. Because we have to take that ground off, we decided we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. Um, just a uh, safety precaution. So 10 millimeter, uh, undo that. And then now we're gonna go over here and pull this off. Um, because the new hood is fiberglass, we are going to have to find a new place to ground that out, so we're probably going to go to here. Um, this is probably just going to have to get hollowed out a little bit to get it to fit, but we'll probably just ground that out right there. So, we're going to get the hood off now. Um, we said it's two 13 millimeter bolts. Um, we're going to take the first bolt off and then we're gonna slowly take the other one off. That way we can just do it by hand and then lift the hood off together. Uh, it is pretty heavy, so you're gonna need a second person to do this. Your hardware is uh, hidden up in here underneath. It uh, took us a second to find it, but um, it's taped in here pretty good. And actually, I do. I could probably ground out to these. Well, no, I can't ground to those. It's fiberglass. Right. Do you need nails? I think you should probably get a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, from the front. So this is our look without the hood. Um, I mean, it's a strange look, you know, looking the whole way up the windshield. But, uh, at this point, I've literally almost had everything off the front of this truck. So the hood is now off, fenders are gonna be coming off, this has been replaced, these are new headlights, this has been painted and pulled off, and this is a new bumper. So, I mean, this this truck from where I got it to where it is now has come a very long way. Dog, why do you love getting so dirty? Like, you are filthy. Dog, Rick. Hi. Hi, Copper. The wood or the Hello? The, I think the bolt. Oh yeah, this is on the ground. This is so much lighter. I don't know, hold on, I gotta switch hands. Yep. Okay, well. Just a little. Okay. Hi. Um, Craig says hose the dogs down. Yeah, thanks. They think.
got it so I can grab the bolt. Yeah, I've got it. Is he annoying you? <laughs> oh, what's up? The factory ones won. <laughs> will or won't? They will. Oh. Well, ain't that weird? Yeah, it's really weird. So the bump stops off the factory hood don't match up. Um, so we're really just going to be relying off of the points on the front of the frame. Um, so we got it loosely put on there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and drop it down and make sure that our body lines match up. Because um, we're going to have to do some adjusting to get it fit just right. But uh, we're going to go ahead and drop it down. Um, this also is going to get adjusted so that it matches up right with our latch. So we're going to bring it down, get our fitment right. So see how we're super tight there? Yeah, and wider down I've here. I've got a really big gap over here, so the hood's gonna have to come my way just a tad. Uh -oh. So. oh yeah, you got to point. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go back up. So we're gonna tighten it down to almost exactly where I think it is right now, and then uh, we're not gonna get it all the way tight. We're gonna get it close, and that way we just make minor adjustments, and then we'll bring the hood down. Okay, so got it mostly tightened up. Is the hook in the right oh, spot? So that's got to be adjusted now. So I'm really hoping this is going to fit at the right spot. And we're still high. Oh, okay, but I see what's happening. Oh, no. Okay, so I tighten this down too much. What our actual problem is, is this is not sitting into this gap. So I need to probably bezel this out a little bit so that this fits properly. But this I have too tight because you could, as you can see there, I was having a hard time getting it open. So I have to push down just to be able to get the latch. So I got to take that off and readjust it. Okay. Test to fit this. So, you want to come in here and I'll show what's going on. So, this is hitting right in there, and that's why we're not getting our full seal. Is when I push it in, it then fits, and now we get our nice clean line. So, I'm gonna need to take a file or something and just clear that out so that uh, we can actually get it all to latch appropriately. Way too wet to go inside. I like he's staining. We just filed this down so that now when it catches this edge, we just kind of slide right past it and sit in there. Um, we're going to have to loosen this up just a hair and shift it over because we have a real tight gap here and a big gap over there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, adjust that.
So as you can see, we got a better gap there and over here. We've got about the same matching gap. So now that we're pretty centered, it's not gonna be perfect because this is fiberglass, but it's close enough. We'll go ahead and lift it up and tighten everything down. I'd say that lines up pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the latch back in and we can add our top trim piece and then uh, we'll be all set. have it all lined up and the hood is on. Um, like I said, not exactly perfect. I can see some kind of bows there in the fiberglass. Um, this side looks pretty spot on. I think I can probably raise that bumper up a little bit here to get to batch a little bit better, but all in all, it looks great. Super happy with the outcome. Um, so if you're looking for this same hood for a 07 to 13 GMC Sierra, check out bodykits.com. You stole my heart of gold after my silver soul. Can you?